So let's go guys, let's start, start in a warm up. Use the options, stop and rest, change the range of movement, written, repetition, modify that if you need. I'm going to go through the classical sequence of Joseph Pilates, might even do all 34, no we're not. But that, that's the idea, but I'm always going to give an alternative exercise and modifications for the exercise, so use them. Movement should be pain-free, always. Listen to your body. So feet together, can be heels together, feet slightly out, if that's not comfortable at all, feet slightly apart, parallel to each other. Body as tall as you can, weight even on the balls of your feet and on your heels. Knees off floor, rib cage away from hips. Shoulders, arms coming out from the side of your body, so gently adjust those shoulder blades and collarbones, so not forward, not all the way back, but right in the middle. So gently sliding those shoulders down, chin up, and head back. Move shoulders, shoulder blades and collarbones, and even though we are trying to move a whole body here, mobilize, so we try to move shoulder blades, collarbones, but we use that movement already from here to challenge the position of our spine. So be aware what's happening there to our neck, to our head. That movement will try to move all the bones. So we'll try to move with control. Turn direction, roll those shoulders forward. Bring those shoulders back again. Reset and move your whole arm now. Moving arm inside the shoulder joint, moving shoulder blades and collarbones, but keeping that body tall. And again, movement as big as comfortable for those shoulders. Make them small, smaller if needed. Change direction, change rhythm. You can make it go slow, go a little bit faster. And always breathing. One more. And then let's change direction. But now focus on the spine. Extend the spine. So from there we're gonna lift the rib cage away from hips. Bring your chest bone back, chin is slightly up, head is slightly back, and then arms out and back in a neutral position. So the arms are here to help to add intensity for those muscles in front of our body. And then back. So we lift, extension, spine extension, open in the front of our body. Both is strengthening and stretching those muscles already. One more. And then change direction. You're moving your arms, bring them out and back. Extend, lift, and then back. Again, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. If you haven't moved that much yet, make the movement smaller and build up gradually. One more, then reset. Body tall. Collateral flexion of our spine. Going out, side to side. And then back. Again, your, the arms there to add intensity for all those muscles there. Take advantage of gravity and challenge those muscles a little bit more. So if that's not comfortable for your shoulder, keep your arms on the side of your body, just move your spine down. Side to side. Two more. And then reset. Flexion of the spine. Imagine your spine is building blocks. We're going to start with the hips and then move the rest of the spine, on lower back, upper back, neck, and head. So we're going to go forward, hinging from hips. Use your arms, place hands on thighs or knees if you need. Bend a little bit of your knees if you need as well. Then from here, we're going to round the back, lower back, upper back, 
neck, head, and lift from hips. Hips back in position. Again, use those arms if you need. Lower back, upper back, and go again. Forward, flex, and lift. Two more. Just moving our spine a little bit more. And again, using gravity to help us. Can stay standing and just move a little bit more. Toes, ankles, knees, thigh bony side, hip joint. And then the movement stops there. So we're still trying to use that movement to challenge the position of our spine. So here, hips, lower back, try to maintain. Or option to go down, placing your hands on the floor. Forward. Try to use those arms to push those hips as far as you can, back and up, and then you move your feet from here. And again, we'll try to control, stabilize our spine. One or two more, then relax. Sit all the way back, stretch a little bit your back. And then sit down and lie on your back. From here, lift your legs. Gently bring those shoulders away from neck. We are trying to bring our shoulders down towards the mat. And inhale, lift your arms, lift them up. Hands pointing up towards the ceiling. Breathe out, lower your arms, bring them parallel to the floor. Tempers of breath, do what feels comfortable, what feels natural. Otherwise, just breathe. Don't worry about it. Breathe in, do this, breathe out of that. Lower back towards the mat. We're stabilizing our spine, especially lower back and hips. Breathing exercise. If you want, if you can, breathe in here for the count of five, four, three, two, one. Out, four, three, two, one. Option, progression to lift that chest as you lower your arms and breathe out. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. The count, the rhythm, you can also adjust and the breath to what feels natural. If you breathe in as you go forward, that's fine as long as you're breathing. Let's add in tasty by moving those legs as well, reaching forward. If you move your legs a little bit higher, less in tasty. Lower, more in tasty. Slower, more in tasty, a little bit faster, less. Challenge to hold there, then five breaths, see if you can. Pulse, or just hold, can be with your knees bent. There's also breathing exercise. Try to breathe in for the count of five. Breathe out for the count of five. Stabilizing your spine there. And that's optional. Option to stay with the movement you're doing before. Going in position, and out of position. You can do with your head and shoulders down on the mat. Two, one or two more breaths. And then you can lower your legs, you can be with your knees bent, and do a full body stretch. From here, you roll up, start moving your arms forward. 
don't need to sit up to begin with. So going forward, we're lifting our back off the mat, back of our head, our shoulder blades. Let's start with shoulder blades only. Hold that position here. Lift your arms again and bring your spine, your shoulder blades and back of your head on the mat. If you can go a little bit further, feel free to lift your lower back and feel free to lift even the back of your hips off the mat and go forward. Bring it back and lower vertebra by vertebra on the mat. Now if you can, pull your toes towards you. So move your heels. Reach with your heels as far as you can. And then keep that position as you lift or try to lift. It's okay to use your arms to lift your spine, to move your spine to begin with, if that's comfortable. So, again, if it's comfortable for your spine, you can move your arms and use your arms to lift your spine, reaching forward. If you reach here, you're reaching forward over your feet with both your arms and with the top of your head. But if you use your arms on the way up, Try to control a little bit more on the way down. One more repetition. So that's the roll up. We strengthen abdominus, deep abdominus, hip flex, the muscles that are moving your spine, our spine. Flex in our spine, stretching muscles there, upper back, lower back, back of our hips, thighs and legs. Massaging our back as we move our back on the, off the mat or try to move. Go all the way down and do a full body stretch. Bring your arms there by the side of your body and lift your legs on a tabletop position. From here, inhale and lift your legs. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, lift. You can try to lift the back of your hips and your lower back off the mat and bring it back down. Now, when you're trying to lift the back of your hips and your lower back off the mat, let's pay attention to our hands, arms, so wrist, arms, so reach as far as you can with those hands and have your hands flat against the mat. Try to keep the front of your wrist close to the mat. So when you move, don't let your wrist lift. Don't let your shoulders move. So try to reach as far as you can and keep that, those hands, arms low. So if you can, you can try to lift, lift the back of the hips, your lower back, and bring your legs over. Bring it back in position and down. Now, from here, option to use those legs if it's comfortable for your back, if it's pain free. Option to use those legs to move your spine. So you can kick. You could start from here, you could start from there. You can move your legs there to allow your spine to move, stretch, and bring it back down. On the way down, you try to control the movement a little bit more. Now, as you lower those legs, those hips, if you manage to lift here, that movement is going to pull your abdominals. Your body will try to counterbalance that by lifting your head. Try not to. So when you bring your legs up and over, try to keep your head, your shoulder blades, resting on the mat. Let that pull challenge your abdominals on the way down. And now if you can, just a few more repetitions here, lift, if you can get there, you can lower your feet as low as it's comfortable, as low as you can breathe, bring your legs apart, and then from here, you lower your spine vertebra by vertebra on the mat again. Let's do two more repetitions. So that's the rollover, we strengthen abdominals, deep abdominals, hip flex again, stretch muscles at the back of the legs, thighs, hips. And if you can go all the way over, also stretch and massage along your spine, massaging your back. Also massaging and stimulating internal organs as you bring your body upside down. It's an inversion. Increasing blood flow towards your head. And then back. Keep your legs up there. And then from here, don't worry if you need to bend your knees. The, the idea is to have those muscles a little bit relaxed. So it should be easy for them. We're challenging the muscles that they keep in your hips and lower back in position. Lower your left leg, keep your right leg up. Use the movement of that leg to challenge hips and lower back. 
We're doing five circles here on each direction. Five circles, anti-clockwise. So bring that leg over, forward, and back up. Five circles in the other direction. And then let's switch legs. So again, if you don't have space there to do a big circle, it's not about a big circle, even a small movement with that leg is going to challenge your hips and your lower back. So be aware of that. You can even use that, your fingers. Find those bones, your hip bones, your rib cage. Keep the same distance on both sides of your body. Breathe. So once you've done one leg, you're going to switch. And five circles there on your left, five clockwise, five anti-clockwise. It's okay to use momentum to bring that leg back up so we can lower with control, out and up. Or challenge those muscles that are moving that thigh bone inside your hip joint to bring it back up. So that's comfortable for your hips. Five and five. Can be with your knee bent here. A little bit less intense for the muscles that are moving your thigh bone inside your hip joint, but still challenge those muscles that keep your hips and lower back in position. Could even be with your foot on the floor. Once you've done them both, bring both knees towards your chest. Nice work. Now bring your right leg up as you've done before. Left leg, you're going to lower, but you're not going to place on the floor. You're going to lower as low as it's comfortable. So it could be here, could be parallel to the floor. You might be able to do only one repetition, that's okay. We're using the circles again, but now we're going to move both legs on the circles. So both legs out, up, and L shape. Then you go in the other direction. Both legs out, like a B shape here. Then you switch them and back on that L shape. So we're moving both legs, and now both legs are challenged your hips and your lower back to stay in position. So we doubled intensity for those muscles keeping hips and lower back in position. Double the work. Even more than double. Because now there's no position where those muscles are resting. But with a single leg, there's certain positions that those muscles are gonna, can rest and relax. Now they don't anymore. So they're working harder and not resting. One or two more, if you're still going. Breathe, 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 breathe. And then bring both knees towards your chest. Well done. You can keep your head and your shoulders down and focus on legs, stretching here. Bring both thighs as close as you can to your rib cage. And now, as you move those legs, those thighs, you can move your hips and your lower back. If you can, chest forward and up. So, two options already. Just hold here and stretch. Now, we're trying to use that natural curve on our upper back. So, we're moving our thighs. Not leg, but thighs. Slightly forward and back again towards our chest. That movement might be smaller. And then as you bring those thighs towards your chest, okay, we're trying to lift your hips and use that curve on our upper back. So keep your shoulder blades apart, elbows out, shoulders away from neck. So back and back. So focus is on lift your hips up and over. If that's comfortable, again, you can stay here and just stretch, no rolling. If you can, you roll up, and now, if it's comfortable for your lower back and hips, you can try to go forward again as well. So is the rolling like a ball or rolling back? So we use our thighs to change the center of gravity and roll back, and roll forward. We're trying to keep our chest forward, keeping our spine round, spine flex, stretching those muscles on the back, especially our lower back. So try to flex the lower back, loosen up that lower back so we can round and not hit the, the, the mat flat 
with the back of our hips and lower back. One or two more. For one or two more breaths, again, you can just stay here. And on the last one, you can lie on your back, feet on the floor, and do a full body stretch. Big stretch there. And bring both knees towards your chest again. Lower back towards the mat. It's easier to bring the lower back towards the mat, engage a little bit, a little bit more abdominals, and create that anchor point if you have your chest forward and up. Option here to have that chest forward and up is to use a ball, a pillow, a block. You could have something under your shoulder blades, like a, a roller or again a folded towel if you want to or just use your abdominals to maintain that position. And then from here, we're going to do the single leg stretch. We're going to reach as far as you can forward with one leg and try to bring the other thigh against our abdominals or against our rib cage or towards and then switch and switch. That's the single leg stretch. So massaging and stimulating internal organs, strengthening and stretching those hip flexors, deep abdominals. As we pull it, we gently stretch muscles that are holding us from bringing those thighs towards chest. So back of our hips, lower back. So two or three more. You have the option to pause here. One, two, switch. One, two, increasing that massage on internal organs and then feet on the floor and do a full body stretch. Again, rest, change the rhythm if you need. Bring both knees towards your chest. Next, you can do the single leg stretch again. Same, option to repeat, option to give yourself a little rest, but if you can, double leg stretch. So we move both legs. And bring your head and your shoulders down on the mat if you need a rest for your neck. So it could be done here. Head and shoulders down on the mat. We're using those legs to challenge the position of our hips and lower back. Those legs are going to pull those abdominals. Try to move those hips and lower back. So those abdominals need to work against that movement to maintain hips and lower back that position. Strengthen them. You can use those arms to challenge the position of a rib cage as well. So also pulling your abdominals. So they don't need to work a little bit more. They are going to be pulled even if you have your head and your shoulders down on the mat. So maintain position there. If you can breathe in and breathe out. Two more. And then relax, feet on the floor, full body stretch. From here, pull your toes towards you, that full body stretch, so you're reaching as far as you can with your hands, with your fingers, head, and with your heels. Long body there. You're gonna lift your right leg, right leg only. Hold at the back of your thigh and pull a little bit. From here, you're gonna let go, lower that leg, and lift again. So you're trying to bring your thigh towards your head and lift. As you do that movement, try to keep hips and lower back in the same position. So gently stretching back of a leg, thighs, hips, and then lower back. Using those hip flexor abdominals. Two more here on this leg. And pull it. Try to pull your toes towards you, increasing the stretch there at the back of the leg and thigh as well. Then we're gonna switch and do the same on the other side. So switch. Again, toes towards you on your right and on your left. Hold at the back of the thigh. Instead of holding at the back of the leg, hold at the back of the thigh. Let the muscle in front of your thigh 
do the work here. Engage a little bit to stretch the muscles of the back. And, and go for the stretch. You might be feeling the stretch with your knee bent here. You might feel that you're bending your knee more than that. that, that that's just... That's it. Two more. Then you can hold. Hold a little bit there. Lift your, pull that thigh towards your ribcage. You can use your arm here and lift your chest. Hold that position. Lift the other leg off the floor. And then we do the movement from here. So when you lift that leg off the floor, you're not really resting on those hip flexors. So you don't go to the maximum and rest on those hip flexors. Leave a little bit, leave them working. And then switch. And switch. This straight single leg stretch. And again, hold it at the back of the thigh. So let those muscles in front of your thighs stretch the muscles at the back. And try to bring that thigh towards your hands. Two or three more. And now relax. Feet on the floor and do a full body stretch. From here we're going to roll up and sit up. Or roll on your side and sit up. Good job. So sitting up, sit on your sitting bones and a long spine. So spine straight all the way up. If you feel that you're rounding your back, it's better to sit a little bit higher using a pillow, a folded towel, a rope towel, a rope mat to sit higher and even bend your knees. Only extend your legs if you can maintain that spine long. Legs slightly apart, if you have a leg straight, pull your toes towards you to stretch a little bit more those muscles at the back of your legs, thighs, the whole posterior chain. Bring your arms forward. Now imagine we have a ball here. So if there is a ball or roller there, we're not going down. We're going to go forward. We're going to roll that imaginary ball forward. As we breathe out, we're going to move our arms, head, chest, lower back, forward, over that imaginary ball. Breathe out. As we breathe in, we roll back, bringing our lower back for rib cage, neck, and head in position. And lengthen our spine. Strengthen the muscles there on our back as well. So breathe out, we're going to go forward and try to stretch those muscles on our back, using the muscle in front, abdominals, hip flexors, inhale and back up, and repeat. So if you feel too much, those muscles working here in front of your hips, if they're working too hard, they might be working too hard against your hamstrings, glutes and lower back to keep your hips, because your hips are trying to fall back already. Bend your knees, make it slightly easier for them. So you can relax those muscles and focus on your spine. So roll that imaginary ball forward and over. Bring it back and up. So let's focus more on our spine than in front of our thighs. One more. And now relax. We're gonna go all the way down again and lie on our back. Full body stretch. And bring both knees towards your chest. From here, preparation. We know that this exercise is from a seated position, but we're gonna stretch here from the mat. So you can stay here, just bring both thighs towards your rib cage and relax, or knees there towards your shoulders and relax. If you can, reach towards your ankles. Try to hold that around your ankles. 
option to just hold the position or could be on your feet. It's just similar to the happy baby on your on yoga, where you hold your feet and lift your feet there. So you hold around your ankles. So that's another option here. And you can stay here. But if you can, you're trying to extend your legs. You're trying to stretch a little bit more. So you can legs apart, shoulder width apart. You can try to extend, stretch the muscles at the back of the legs, thighs, hips, and bring it back, release. So you can get in position and out of position. So from there, stretching both legs, legs, thighs, hips, lower back. You might lift the back of the hips and lower back of the mat and bring it back. And if you can, you hold that position. So from there, you stretch and hold. Now, the movement will start uh, as you get in position. I'm gonna move my spine. If you can, from here, stretch in your lower back, stretch in all those muscles along your spine a little bit more. Try to pull your thighs, your legs over, round in your back, and then you can relax. So you try to lift your hips, lift, and relax. So move, mobilizing your spine, stretch in back of the legs, thighs, hips, lower back, even upper back. Now, if you can, you lift, you hold that. Your spine is round. Your hands might be at the back of your calves instead, of ankles or feet, that's okay as well. Your knees might be slightly bent, that's okay as well. What we're going to do from here, you're trying to use your legs, your thighs to change your center of gravity. So from here, for example, you're trying to move, throw your thighs forward and pull them back. So we start gently rocking forward and back by moving those thighs forward and back. So it should be a nice, comfortable movement. Only do it if it's comfortable. If not, just hold on a stretch and rest every now and then. Now, if you can, you can from here, throw those thighs with a little bit more energy forward. And you're sitting up. The movement is called the open leg rocker. So you move those thighs back and change your center of gravity, lifting your hips. You throw those thighs forward and you sit up. You're trying to keep your chest forward. So when you throw those thighs forward, chest stay forward. So abdominals stay working. One or two more. And then we can stay down on the mat can bend your knees and bring your thighs there towards your ribcage. Relax a little bit. Feet on the floor, full body stretch. I was looking, I got blind by the lights here. Couldn't see you. Now from here, bring your arms by the side of your body, bend your knees again and lift those legs. Can be with your knees bent. Bring your feet together, keep them together. So if you need from that position, the feet here together is not comfortable. Turn your feet slightly out, you might be able to bring your heels together. If not, think about bringing your thighs and legs together. Bodies are different, yeah? So intention to bring your feet together. So from here now, we're gonna move our hips side to side. So shoulders back and down. Long hands and arms, keep the front of your wrist towards the floor. We're going to move our hips here, out to one side. Feet stay together, back in the center. As you bring your hips back in the center, lower back towards the mat. Then hips out to the other side. Then back in the center. Then go again, side to side. Out, and then back. Then out, and back. If you can, do a circle. Bring your legs forward. Now, when you bring your hips back in the center, lower back towards the mat. Back. And up. Can be with knees bent. So it's the same. So shoulders stay down. Hips out to one side. Thighs forward. Hips back in the center. Lower back towards the mat. And back up. You can use momentum to lift those legs again. So as you bring it out. So forward and up. An option to lift a little bit those the back of our hips and lower back of the mat. 
So we go out, forward, out and up, out, forward, back and up. The movement is called the corkscrew. Two or three more. So strengthening, stretching as well, all those muscles that rotate your spine. Muscles around the waist, or abdominals, obliques, muscles on the back. Strengthen muscles on the upper back, muscles between the shoulder blades, back of the rib cage, as you use the, that upper body's anchor point. Then from there, bring both knees towards your chest. And either roll forward and sit up, or roll on your side and sit up. Bringing your legs forward and legs slightly apart. Again, same as this spiny stretch. Sitting on your sitting bones. Long spine. So bend your knees if you need. Better to bend your knees and sit a little bit higher using a block, towel, or anything to sit a little bit higher. The focus on the spine. So if you can, extend your leg. From there, hands can start to start on the floor. Or if it's comfortable for shoulders, bring those arms out. It's quite intense exercise, so modify, adapt, and range of movement. To begin with, it's a small movement. So from here, we're gonna rotate your spine, we're gonna turn, rotation. So if you can see, if you could see yourself there in a mirror or in a video, as you rotate, you're trying to keep your height. You're not going, to, going down, shrinking. You, you keep that height as you do the rotation. And now we're going to reach forward. Could be same side, center, or across. We're going to reach, we're going to flex forward. Bring it back into that rotation. It's still rotating your spine. And then back in the center. The movement's this song. So rotation. Flexion, back, and center. So that rotation, you can have your arms up there, it's also an option. So rotation, with that drop in here, lift, focus on that rotation. Then flexion, going forward, bring it back, and center. If you have your legs crossed, same, rotation, sit, sitting bones on the floor. Flexion, lift, and back. So with legs crossed, you have a little bit less resistance from those hamstrings in the back of your leg. So you might be able to move your spine a little bit more and stretch the muscles along your spine on your back a little bit more. By having your legs forward, you're also then stretching those muscles at the back of your legs, thighs, and hips that these might often offer a little bit more resistance which is okay one or two more and then relax go forward here you can be with your knees bent then you can hold at the back of the thighs legs ankles or feet Moving your head forward again, and just hold on that stretch. No need to pull it. If you pull it, it's a gentle pull. You should be able to breathe. And then from here, we're going to roll down, or roll on your side, and lie on your back. Full body stretch. Bring in your arms by the side of your body. Again, long, long arms. Hands flat on the mat, bend your knees, heels under your knees, and lift your back, vertebra by vertebra off the mat, and lower, vertebra by vertebra on the mat. You can start with a small movement. Try to lift just the back of your hips and your lower back off the mat, and down, then you can progress into low back of the hips, lower back, bottom of the shoulder blades, if you can. From there, you're trying to arch your back, lift those hips. If you're trying to stretch those muscles in front of your hips, 
muscle between your hips and rib cage. Open your chest, even shoulders and back down. So vertebra by vertebra. One more. And then back down. Both knees towards your chest again. From here, one foot on the floor, cross there, place your leg on top of that thigh. You have the option to just push here, that knee forward, open your hips. If you can, a hold there, across, hold at the back of the other thigh and pull it. If you can, rest on your head on the floor. If that's not comfortable, you could have your chest forward and up and even use, again, a block, pillow. And Switch. Nice work. From here, release. Place your feet on the floor, open your chest, open your arms, and then from there, take both legs out to one side. Keep your legs there, don't worry, they don't touch the floor. Now, bring the arm on the opposite side, up and forward. And then three repetitions here. And up and out. Open your chest. And then up and forward. Up and back. Trying to place the back of your hand and shoulders down the mat. Three or four repetitions. Then you bring your legs back in the center. And take it out to the other side. And we're doing three or four repetitions on the other side. Leave. And once you're done on your back, you breathe out, pull knees towards your chest, around your back. As you breathe in, feet on the floor and do a big, big full body stretch. And as you breathe out, you relax. Arms, shoulders, hands, neck, back. Bend your knees to relax a little bit more your lower back. And well done. You can roll on your side. Sit up. 